Hello everyone, welcome back to another unboxing video. As you can see by the title alone, but it's Tokyo Treat. Got my box, hmm, I think it was like two days ago, something like that. So, came in excellent condition. And there's the cover of the last month of the year's release, December. And there are the items in here. I'm covering up my USC code so you can't scan it, but it doesn't really matter. It's going to work anyway. Unfortunately, I'll get to it in a minute. There's Here's the various items in this box. If you can barely read them. I, I, see, this side is a little blurry, and I'm sorry about that. I think it's the, the blue tint from the monitor is causing that. Although, what's weird is... You don't see that tint, but your eyes do. There's some other items there. Boy, the blue on this side really gets blurry. That's strange. Oh, okay, I see why. It was the autofocus is messing it up. Although, I thought I'd turn that off. And the back side with some Instagram pictures. I tried using Droid Cam with my phone. And it actually, because it'll access the rear camera, and I was going to use this as my standalone instead of using uh, my normal desktop one. I mean, it looks okay, but it's not, it's still not as clear as this version, even though this area is still slightly blurred. I don't understand why that, why that is when all of this area over here is fine. So... Even if I upgraded my camera, which, I mean, it's it's slightly older Logitech model, but, I mean, it's the top of the line of the desktop versions, so it shouldn't be blurry in any way, shape, or form. So I don't understand that. I was, a lot of people use handheld cameras. It's like Corridor Digital. They, they do that. They'll put a handheld up on top of their monitor and face them, but, man, those things are expensive. Of the HD version. Anyway, let's get to the box contents. And we start off with the drink, which I have a feeling is going to taste just like a normal Pepsi. And this is the special Pepsi Cola Punch. It'll punch you out. <laughs> We're bringing you a sweet soda to share with Santa. This Japan exclusive Pepsi has a rich and sweet caramel flavor with a pinch of salt for a refreshing winter soda. Well, being that uh, Pepsi normal tastes like car caramel anyway, you know, it has that taste. It smells like Pepsi. It's a little, a little bit stronger. Well, They've, they've added a little bit uh, slightly stronger caramel flavor to it. Which is quite nice. Yeah, I like that. I mean, I haven't had a bad Pepsi, so it's not like it's going to be bad to begin with. And <clears throat> I got some repetition few things in here that we've had before and some new items this we had I think it might have been my Japan crate I'm not sure most likely it was uh, but either way these are great you probably remember them they're really nice what does that say Genovese yeah Genovese cheese Scone Genova say G's or G E N O V E S E Genova say Genovas Genoves no cheese lovers are in for a mellow and crunchy treat this winter. This light scone snack from Jap Japanese chip favorite Kokia has a cheesy flavor that hints with with hints of basil, onion, and garlic. Yeah, that's what I like about them. They kind of taste like basil noodles. Uh, 
if you get some, which I recommend, and you'll go to the store, get a bag of really good noodles that you like, and boil them up real soft. Once they're done, drain them and mix in with uh, some freshly chopped basil and uh, butter. But they look like your normal Cheeto type chip, little scones. But the flavor is superb. Really good stuff. Has very mild salt, but the basil, depending on what you want, basil, basil. Basil probably, because basil is the guy. <laughs> John Cleese! Um, <clears throat> is really nice. Has a slight burn in the back of the throat. Probably from the garlic. And here's our first our, of the repetitions. A little Dagashi snack in a way. Umabu. These are the Umabu Rings Sugar Rusk, which we've had many times. We couldn't find five gold rings for your 12 days of snackmas celebration, but we found the next best thing. The Sugar Rusk Umabo Snacks are the sweetest corn treat of the sweet holiday. Sorry, I got an itchy nose for some reason. There they are. They're the same type of, uh, like the Umabu. And they probably are. They're the, the Umabu stick, the extruded long thing from the factory, and they just slice them up. I put a little nice sugar layer on up, layering on them, which is quite nice. It kind of reminds me of <clears throat> French toast. And speaking of Umabu, we have a spacey one. He's in outer space. This is the. Tonkatsu flavor. We love Christmas throwback and wanted to share a popular Japanese childhood snack with you. Umabu! This crispy corn snack comes in a slightly spicy tonkatsu sauce flavor. Okay. Oh, never had that before. And it's brown this time. It's a dirty log. <laughs> has a very sweet smell to it. Sweet, uh, there's a little bit of spice to it. Kind of like, like a beef jerky in a way. If you ever smell one of those, it has that type of scent. Hmm. Hmm. It does have a mild burn. Very, very mild, but it's there when it's out of your mouth or if you're about to chew it down. Very mild salt, which is good. Mm. Something got some of my teeth from that. It liquefies basically pretty quick. Um, taste wise, it has a slight sweetness to it. But it's more peppery. It has a, a peppery quality to it with the mild sweetness and then the burn. So it's quick, really good. And then you mix in the corn. We've had these before. I wonder what that is. Hmm. There's this picture right here on the back. It kind of looks like one of those things where you take a... There's an old 3D cup. Wait a minute, I'll show you. Well, it's hard to find. I got this long line of, of collectible cups, and I, it's buried in there. I, anyway, I don't want to waste time doing that. There's a Last Action Hero cup from, I think it was Burger King, or it might have been McDonald's, I'm not sure that I have where it has a rotating layer of plastic on the outside kind of I think it's ridged 
in a way. Like it's got lines in it. And I believe if you were to take something like that and slide it across here and you get a 3D image, a moving image in a way. It's kind of like the kinescopes in, in that style. Anyway, this is the Pokemon Christmas Party Chuckle Corn. Your Pokemon pals are throwing a Christmas party. Each pack of these Choco Corn Snacks features a limited edition Christmas design. Okay. Hmm. All right. There we go. I mean, we've had these before. It's just the only difference is that these have a special Christmas packaging. And I got the, the Pikachu shape. Kind of, I mean, they're basically like eating one of the chocolate, chocolate cereals. Mm -hmm. Very much so. Even though I've tasted one in the distant past. So I know what they taste like. What they're like. <clears throat> I repeated myself there and I got to catch that. Never say the same word twice in one sentence. But those have a s tricks or post cereal type of crunch to them, and then the, the mild chocolate taste. So they're the, that's basically what they are. <clears throat> and now we have a special umabu. Pretty cool packaging. This is the premium umabu. Camembert cheese. Ooh, goody. I love camembert. The holidays are the perfect time to indulge in rich food. And what better than with the famous Umabu Camembert variety? It's more luxurious than your normal one with a rich and cheesy flavor. Sweet! No, it's not sweet. <laughs> <clears throat> Looks like your normal Umabu, and you can see the each one have a hole in the center. It actually smells like camembert. Wow. That's new. I would have never expected that. It has the perfect scent to it. Mm. Salt is a little high. Not too much, but it's quite noticeable. Taste-wise... The camembert is there, but it's very mild to that because the corn of the stick itself overpowers it. So it's a mild mixture of the cheese with a stronger taste of the corn. And then you got the little bit of salt. Ooh. Gotta have a drink after that. It's nice. It could taste better if, it, if the corn wasn't so strong. And we've had these little little Debbie variety type snacks many times. This is the strawberry cream roll cake. This Christmas cake is the ultimate Japanese celebration food. We're sending you this tasty and soft strawberry cream cake for you to enjoy at this time. You say Christmas twice in, two, in one sentence. I killed one of them. Die! <laughs> yeah, they're a little, like little Debbie cakes. Same, really nice scent. Almost like a strawberry shortcake in quality. The only thing, they're a lot smaller, though. Now, slightly squeezed, as you can see. They're not as big as, say, one of the, of the chocolate variety, the roll cakes. Under this machine. Really good though. But packaging wise, if I were to leave it with the amount I bought on bought, bit off, it'd be that big. I mean look, look how much air you have in the packaging. You fold it over once. That's a lot that's too much. And then leaving on the what I took off there, you have that. That's crazy. They can fill that thing up, make it a lot bigger, and have a much 
nicer snack. These are very getting a little too common. The only difference with this one is the packaging. It's just Christmas in, in tone. Merry Christmas! Both ways. So it really goes that way so you can see it up and down. These are the Fugashi. Fugashi! <laughs> Over-exaggeration. This Japanese Christmas treat will melt in your mouth. Yeah, it is. It's it's basically cotton candy in a slightly tougher form. The light bar made from wheat. Wheat? I thought it was like rice. Hmm. Has an airy texture and sweet brown sugar flavor. Now that, that's the first time I've ever heard in a description that I remember being claimed it was from wheat. Interesting. Yeah. Open the whole thing. Yeah. It's like a big, it's like an airy log. I mean, it's light as air because it's basically, as I said, cotton candy, but it's got this brown sugar coating put on it. Mm. Mm. As you can see, it's very airy in there. They're very excellent in taste. Basically, they go down really quick because they just melt in your mouth almost right after you eat them. Another Dagashi snack. Kind of looks familiar. I think we've had this before. Lucky Corn Salty Flavor. Need some luck this holiday season? We've got you. Enjoy these lightly salty, crunchy corn snacks. That will bring you good vibes. There's the back side. Not much to see. They kind of look like airy versions of corn nuts, which are really good. I like those. You gotta have strong teeth, though. <clears throat> Although there's a Japanese version of them, which is like this. Well, no, I take that back. These are not corn nuts. These are uh, little cheesy poofs in a way. Yeah, real soft. Hmm. They're kind of like sweet corn in a way. Very. They're not as strong as a normal corn puff in a, in that style. Right? They have a much milder sweetness to them which gives them that flavor and then there's a little bit of salt mixed into them so they're, they're quite good but there's another which i've showed you in past videos that i've gotten from some of my stores up in augusta they're the same type of corn nut but they're much softer and not as hard on the teeth when you chew into them i forget the name of them now oh, we got another marshmallow and this one probably is just that. A big one. It even says that right there. Mushroom. You want the mushroom? Soft and fluffy like the Christmas snow. This Japanese marshmallow is the perfect bite-sized winter treat. Yeah, that's all it is. It's technically a waste of plastic. Because all they did is take a big marshmallow and stick it in plastic. There's no flavor difference whatsoever to that of what you can buy in the store. Oh, another one of these. Little uh, cider, Ramoon cider gummies. Yep, exactly what it is. These are nice. Again, waste of plastic. Because technically you can, you can put a bunch of these in one bag just by themselves and have them that way instead of individually wrapping them like this. They're like a little removed bottle. Very fat, though. <laughs> but you can see how thick they are. Taste-wise. Hmm. It's not... 
It is Ramoon, but it has a different taste to it, different than that of the drink. Hmm. Kind of maybe a, a very mild licorice, I guess. Something like that in there. Yeah, now we have a proper marshmallow. This is the tiny little something I'm not seeing on my list here, which might be an extra. Oh, there it is. Dafuku. Yep. This is the chocolate one. Yeah, I like Dafuku's. We actually have them around here. And I was supposed to get some recently, but we have an auction house uh, in the neighboring city of Millen that my friend works at. And they were supposed to have been auctioning off something like this, but I guess they either sold out real quick or didn't get them. And they came in strawberry chocolate. Yeah, it was just strawberry and chocolate, but there were... Basically, these these little marshmallows, they not not as not in the same style. They were more. Oh, I'm sorry, I did get some. I forgot. I got the strawberry. They're they're basically these, but they're little round ones, a uh, little slightly larger. Um, these have this nice. I've showed it to you many times. Nice chocolate layer in the interior. The strawberry ones are quite good too. And we actually have. Wait a minute. Let me show you. I didn't think we sold them over here. They're not as good as. The Japanese variety, which I'm not surprised. <laughs> These are actually made in China, so even worse. But we have the marshmallow cones over here. They're made by Urco, or distributed by Urco. And they came, this is again from an auction house sale. They had strawberry and chocolate. Very dis disconcerting uh, because... The box indicates you're supposed to get both flavors on it, but you only get one. <laughs> but they're okay. I mean, you can see the the top of the cone is quite flat to that of the Japanese variety, which is much better in my opinion. Actually, way better. Uh, it has you get more of the marshmallow, and there's a lot of a lot of air down at the bottom. Although I think the Japanese variety has a, has that same problem too. Huh. We just I think we just had these. Oh, trying to get away from me. These little guys here. They look like whistles, but they're not. Rolling candy soda flavor. Well, Ramoon. It's like Christmas candy. These soft treats have a refreshing cider flavor and soft texture that will have you think asking crap Santa for more. Thinking and asking. <laughs> Just little Ramoon balls. They have a airy pocket inside. Good smell too. We've had them many times before. The uh, I gotta stop that. Tell me when I do it so I can stop. The uh drives me nuts. But those are basically like Ramoon powder but have the, the same type of taste to them, except they're, mm, I wouldn't say taffy, but a dissolving gum, I guess. These are new. I'm glad to see something finally that we, it's not been in our box. Tyrol chocolate, choco winter mochi. Japan loves mochi at the end of the year, and Tyrol, Choco is combining it with winter exclusive chocolate. Okay. Inside the slightly bitter chocolate 
is a mochi gummy and chocolate sauce filling. Interesting. The back side. It's a little shiny, it's so hard to see there. Mm, better open from this than the other one, so wide. So we'll start from the bottom. Oh, they're all individually wrapped. Okay. Pretty much like the mochis I've had in the past, which were matcha. But at least this time, it's chocolate. <clears throat> and then inside the wrapper, we have this nice little square pinwheel top. Very much the dark chocolate scent to it. Kind of reminds me of Baker's chocolate. Quite dark in there. Hmm. Ooh. That's really good. That dark chocolate taste. Hmm. Mixed with a oh, slightly bounty quality to the mochi to it. I'm tr trying to remember, it doesn't. It reminds me of something. I just, it's not coming to my head. Duh, I, I can't get it in my head. <laughs> my brain hurts. And one of the staples of many, many boxes. Kind of looks Christmassy in a way, I guess. This is the sour soda gum, as we've mentioned many times. There's three bottles inside. Two are sweet, one sour. I'll try it at the end. Maybe I'll get the sour one. And you can watch me go <laughs> right in your rhythm. <laughs> and we have two last items. Brand new. A melty kiss. I want to give you a melty kiss for Christmas. Come here. <laughs> we want this kiss under the mistletoe. Which is, I never can understand. I, I got to look into that history again. Why? Why is mistletoe the kissing plant? It's a, it's a parasite. <laughs> it kills trees. <laughs> These soft winter limited edition chocolate treats will literally melt in your mouth. In your hand. In anywhere else you place it. <laughs> Backside. Uh, there's a QR code for you if you want to scan it, see see where it goes. Probably to the company website. And on top we have a little hole. Oh, a little, little message there. If you can read it, if you can, let me know. I gotta get a, a translator for my phone. That'd probably be cool. Like little like Google Translator. It might be on there. I never tried that. And then you can look at something like and then it'll tell you what it is. Oh, inside we've got these little individually wrapped. Kind of look like those what are they called? Those little mints that you can buy in the store. Ooh. What is this? Boy. This one looks like it got melted. <laughs> That's bad. Hmm. Very nice. It's solid chocolate. Doesn't... Let me see if I can find one that's not so messed up inside. That one feels right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. That's what they're supposed to look like. <laughs> that thing was really messed up. Yeah. There it is. Hmm. It's quite different. Mixing the mild matcha with the chocolate. But it works. Of course, I doubt it wouldn't, but I like the flavor of the milk chocolate and then my, the mild 
matcha. Very nice. And lastly, we have sparkling wine with strawberry Kit Kats. Ooh. This, the holidays are all about celebrating and how better than with Japan's limited edition sparkling wine Kit Kat. This has a gentle flavor with a hint of strawberry. Hmm. Cool. Here's the back side, and there's a, another QR code you can scan. I guess it'll go to the website. And I'm not sure what that is. What is that? Looks like a guy talking on the phone with a gorilla. I don't get that. <laughs> Maybe they were on the inside? Let's see. I like, this is another one of the packaging I like. It's paper with a light coating of of wax on it. So it's biodegradable. As all packaging should do. Oh, it is. Huh. Wait a minute. There's multiple artworks. Let's see if I can find them all here. Interesting. What a dog. I think I found. No, nope, there's another one. Oh, my gosh. There's a bunch of different styles. Almost every one of them. Yeah, might as well just dump them all out. <laughs> so you got the guy on the phone. Not sure what he's saying there. And. Got somebody driving. We got another phone here. Let's see. Here's the gorilla. Different coloring too. I wonder if it means anything. Got a woman cooking. And let me hold up two at once here. Cut down. Cut down on the amount of times. You have. A woman doing a selfie, which is so stupid, and a dog. And you got an elephant and a woman grooming in the mirror. I think that, yeah, she's grooming. Powdering her face. Tennis. Tennis, anyone? A boy eating a banana. Or about to eat. And I've got another steer woman steering. So, let's see if they're different. I'll do the, the gorilla one. White chocolate, of course, as expected. There you go. Hmm. Very strong. I don't know. It kind of soapy in a way. It's got a sweet, very sweet smell to it. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if it's wine. I mean, it could be, but. Hmm. It's a little on the sweet side, a little too sweet, in my opinion. It's nowhere near as balanced as the awesome apple pie. <clears throat> it, the sugar is too, a little bit too high. There's a tingling quality to it, almost like wine. And I guess the after flavor back of your throat is similar to a sparkling style of that drink. <clears throat> there is a nice mild strawberry flavor to it as well. But overall, it's it's not the greatest. It's kind of like eating soap. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, I mean, we've had so many better ones. This is just like a one-off, in my opinion. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say anybody would should rush out and get it. If you are, go go for apple pie. <laughs> uh, but it's something that'll be forgotten pretty quick, in my opinion, because it's it's eh, it's not that great. And that's basically it for this box. I'm going to give you something to look at. This is the Simpsons. Obviously, you know who they are, the Simpsons. Maggie! These were put out back in 1990 by Burger King. And as soon as I saw them come out, I was like, ooh, I'm getting them. <laughs> we got Homer. I mean, they're the best versions of the Simpsons uh, uh, figures ever put out. Am I? There's only one problem, which I'll show you in a second. We got Lisa. And Bart. And here's the problem. You got Marge, which looks great, but this, the paint they put on here, you have to keep it in a plastic bag because it gets, for some reason, over the years, well, I don't think, yeah, even her neck, I have to think, I have to put it down further. This gets real tacky, it's gotten real tacky. Um, and you can't, you don't want to wash it off because you can probably see it's some of it's a little worn. And I haven't, I always keep it in the bag. And they're always stored away in my cedar chest here. But that was a bad idea using this type of paint on her hair. For some reason, I don't know why they thought, hey, let's, I mean, they went slightly cheap, but at the same time, they wouldn't, it should have gone for something that's going to stay without. Have stay strong and non tacky, so that's the only problem with this. With all of the figures, none of the other, none of the others have that problem. Well, take that back. Lisa might. No, Lisa's is is not tacky. It might be because of this white coating, the the white paint. So it's just the red and the blue. I don't know. There's something wrong with that. That whatever polymer they used on it okay that's all i hope you enjoyed and i'll leave a, a link in the and as i do with every video if you like a shirt i'm wearing i always put a link down below in the description uh click show more to get one if you like it i'm not advertising them i just if you like what i'm wearing hey what's cool is this one has a backside too Although, the, of all the shirts I bought, this is the most expensive, I, th I think it was, because I got it from a company over in England, and you'll see when you get it. It glows in the dark, too. So, I liked it because it's very Tron-like, sort of like Tony Stark in a way, because it's got the core, but it's uh, very more Tron in style. All right. I'll see you in the next unboxing. Thanks for watching.